That's shocking. That is crazy. We need to actually take action and do something about this. And here's a great example of doing something about it. Um, this week, a, another video went viral that I have to show you. And it was uh, the slippery slope that we've all been talking about for a while. Is if you normalize certain uh, behaviors, then other things are going to be normalized next. Meaning it's like the slippery slope. Okay, this is something that conservatives have talked about for a while and got made fun of for. Well, now the slippery slope, slope has slid down to uh, minor attracted people. Let me let this professor who teaches people, who's paid to teach people, explain what that is. I use the term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, sure. A lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true. And it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's OK to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to it doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. OK, it doesn't say anything about the morality of that attraction. This is a professor trying to normalize being attracted to children. They, oh, well, you know. It just creates a stigma, and that's not healthy. We don't want to make people feel bad about things that they're sinning or struggling with, right? Like, that that would be wrong. Like, no, it is merciful to correct people. If someone has food in their teeth, it is the nice thing to do to let them know, hey, you have food in your teeth, <laughs> you need to address this. If you're struggling with something that is so evil and so sinful as being a minor attracted person, like this lunatic who's a college professor is saying, it is not good to say, well... We don't want you to feel bad about that. Like that would be the real problem, right? Not trying to correct you or help you be like, no, or or remove you from society because you're an absolute threat. Um, that would be bad, right? And then we have this weird idea now today where it's like, oh, you know, God would love. And, you know, yeah, obviously, obviously you love anyone that you're trying to correct. Like you love your children who you're disciplining. You love your friend who is struggling with something that he know he shouldn't be struggling with. And you try to pull him the other direction. And be like, dude, you're wrong. This is terrible. Like, do not do this you can still love that person and correct them, okay? It's just this weird, this weird, stupid, progressive idea that we just need to, need to allow all things because Christ is love. And the Christ also, there is a lot of, there is a lot of uh, consequences, a lot of, of a duty. There's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of stuff in the Bible as well. And uh, yes, Jesus is love, which and it's obviously, because there'd be redemption now, there's, because of that, there's redemption for everybody. However, we do need to take action and say no to a lot of this craziness. Like this is nuts. And fortunately, some good stuff did come out of this, as you can see. He was fired. He was well, not been fired. He'd been put on leave. Okay, let me remove myself from the screen so you can see it. Um, this professor was put on leave, as he should be. This person should not be teach me paid to teach kids about being a minor attracted person. Okay, and normalizing that. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Thank goodness we canceled this person. We need to cancel all these terrible ideas. We need to cancel CRT. We need to cancel these lunatics taking over churches and telling people that it's okay to be a minor attractive person. They need to be gone, okay? They, they, there needs to be a standard. And yes, we, we will love you. You can live here. But these are, these are the rules, okay? These are the standards. You're not allowed to talk about that kind of stuff. You're not allowed to teach people that kind of stuff. And I think that would be a uh, much healthier place for us to be. Yeah.